Hey guys, I'm Alex and this is Abdul and we're with Wilson Amplifiers. And today we're gonna to be going over how to measure your cellular signal strength. So Abdul, how and why does somebody need to measure their cellular signal strength before buying a cell phone signal booster? Uh, coverage, you know, identifying how much coverage you, you can get out of the booster that you're trying to purchase and what type of product you're trying to purchase. There's two different things that you need to look out for when measuring signal strength, and those are the power, uh, what those towers are outputting into your location, and then two, the quality of the signal. Okay, so if I have extremely weak cellular signal, I'm gonna probably need a stronger booster, right? Possibly, yes. Yeah, so depending on how strong your outside signal is, you can get away with a weaker booster, correct? Correct. So where would I be measuring this signal strength? Uh, I would say take your readings outside of the property, one on each corner of the building would suffice, and then uh, for your final readings, take it at rooftop level if possible. Okay, so how do you measure signal strength? Good question. There's three different ways. Uh, first of all, you can use the iPhone as a, as a measuring tool. You can use an Android device, and then for professional usages, we use what we like to use what's called a cell link meter. Okay, and so can you actually walk us through a, the way that each of these devices can measure cell signals so sure. that our customers can do it themselves? Sure. So for iPhone, user, for iPhone users, uh, you don't have to download any app. You simply just hit the phone icon as if you were dialing a number. The number you want to dial is star 3001 pound 12345 pound star. Um, and then hit the call button. It's going to bring you up to, uh, you're going to see a lot of different data points on here. And the specific one that we want to go to is uh, servicing cell measure. And then there you're going to see two different uh, readings that we, we that's very important. Uh, the first one that you want to focus on is, is RSRP, which is reference signal received power. And that reading is actually telling you how much power those, those towers nearby are pushing out to your cellular device. And the second number would be uh, RSRQ0, and that stands for Reference Signal Received Quality. Um, and ideally you want to be, for a good power, you want to be within a negative 80 is a good range, it's a good, it's a good uh, powerful signal. Uh, anything over minus 115, 120, you're really dipping into like really poor signal. Uh, for the quality, I would say any, anywhere between negative 5 and negative 15 is ideal. Anything minus 20 on the quality is you're really dipping into like bad quality signal. Okay. How about an Android device? Android, uh, same two measurements is what you want to look for. Um, first thing you want to do is you want to go into your Play Store. You want to download an app called Network Cell Info Lite. And then from there, once you've downloaded it, you open the app and it basically brings up all the information that you need. It's going to give you your RSRP levels and your RSRQ levels as well. And it's also going to identify what band your, your cell phone is pulling off of. So can any device get these readings? Uh, for, for Android, yes. So the app works the same on all Android users. What we find on iPhone, it's, a been, it's been a hit or miss. Uh, sometimes there's software updates that may hinder you from getting to these parameters. Um, but for the most part, I mean, it is, it is accessible. And this only measures your one band for your one carrier, correct? Correct. So if you want to get it for all carriers... I what... would say anybody that's trying to benefit from the cellular amplification system needs to do the test um, so that we identify all different carriers. Yeah, and we, that's what the cell meter is for, right? It does Correct. all bands right. at once. And for professional usage, we, we, we tend to lean on this guy here. It's called the cell link meter. Yeah. Uh, this thing is uh, it's sophisticated, um, but it's very easy to use, and it gives us all the information. We need actually too much information sometimes. Um, it gives us the, the band, the tower location, the coordinates, the quality of the signal and the, the power of the cell towers of the signal strength that's coming in. So it's a very, very useful tool. And the neat thing about this is that it allows you to take one, one reading and it'll give you results for T-Mobile, Verizon, and AT&T in one scan versus doing multiple scans on different devices on these, on these Android and iPhones. 
Um, and then the neat thing about this is it actually uh, allows you to download these, uh, pro these readings onto a CSV file on an Excel sheet, which is great. Yeah. for professional usage. So we do this, this is what we use on our site surveys, right? All site surveys. Okay, great. So, but hopefully these phones will actually be sufficient for just an ordinary use. It get, it's, a good, it's a good place to start uh, for measurement. It's better to have these readings and not. Yeah, these readings um, are really important. Like very meaningful. So hopefully this helped you and you can use this to get your own readings and uh, have fun. <laughs>